Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going on a fascinating journey into the world of mushroom cultivation. We'll uncover the secrets behind how these enigmatic fungi are grown, from the microscopic spore to the delicious delicacies we savor on our plates. It all begins with spores, the microscopic seeds of mushrooms. These minuscule particles are incredibly resilient, capable of surviving in the harshest of environments. In a controlled laboratory setting, these spores are introduced to a sterile grain substrate such as rye or millet. This process creates spawn, essentially the mushroom's growing medium. The mycelium, the vegetative part of the fungus, begins to colonize the grain, forming a dense network of white thread-like structures. Think of it as the fungus's root system, exploring and consuming the nutrients within the grain. Preparing the growing medium. Once the spawn is ready, it's time to prepare the primary growing medium. This typically involves a carefully balanced blend of organic materials such as compost, manure, and sometimes even agricultural byproducts like coffee grounds or spent grain. This mixture is meticulously prepared, ensuring proper aeration and moisture levels. The goal is to create a nutrient-rich environment that will support the vigorous growth of the mycelium. The fruiting stage. After the spawn is introduced to the growing medium, the mycelium begins its journey of colonization. This can take several days or even weeks, depending on the species of mushroom. Once the substrate is fully colonized, it's time to induce fruiting. This is where the magic truly happens. By carefully manipulating environmental conditions such as temperature, humidity, and airflow, the mycelium is tricked into believing it's time to reproduce. Humidity levels are crucial, as the delicate mushroom structures can easily dry out. Fresh air exchange is essential to remove carbon dioxide and introduce oxygen, which the mushrooms need for respiration. Temperature plays a vital role, as different mushroom species have specific temperature requirements for optimal growth. Harvesting and processing. Once the mushrooms reach maturity, they are carefully harvested by hand, this is often done by gently twisting or cutting them at the base. After harvesting, mushrooms undergo various processing methods depending on their intended use. Many mushrooms are immediately packed and shipped to grocery stores for fresh consumption. Dehydration is a common method to extend shelf life. Mushrooms are carefully dried in specialized dehydrators, reducing their weight and volume for transportation. Some mushrooms are canned in brine or sauce, preserving their flavor and texture for extended periods. Freezing is another effective method for preserving mushrooms, allowing them to be enjoyed at a later date. Mushroom cultivation can be a remarkably sustainable agricultural practice. Waste reduction. Many mushroom farms utilize agricultural waste products such as coffee grounds and spent grain as substrates. This not only reduces waste, but also provides a valuable new use for these byproducts. Low environmental impact. Compared to many other forms of agriculture, mushroom farming has a relatively low environmental footprint. It typically requires minimal land and water resources beyond their culinary delights. Mushrooms offer a wealth of health benefits. They are packed with nutrients, low in calories, and a good source of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. So there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating world of mushroom cultivation. From the microscopic spore to the delicious fruits we enjoy, this process showcases the power of nature and the ingenuity of human cultivation. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more informative content. And don't forget to leave a comment below with any questions you may have.